Alert 5 weather alert. Well, good Friday afternoon. Glad you're with us for News 5 at noon. I'm Ira Cronin in for Bree Groves, who is off today. And we begin at noon with the 403 fire burning near Florissant. At last check, that fire has burned approximately 1,100 acres with no containment. Several subdivisions near County Road 403 and Alpine Lane under mandatory evacuation orders. And a shelter has been set up at the Woodland Park Community Church. The video you're seeing here was taken by the Teller County Sheriff's Office yesterday. It shows the wind, how difficult it was making to contain this fire as it initially broke out. Let's get you a closer look at the evacuation and pre-evacuation notices in place. This map is zoomed in on Western Teller County. The area in red is under mandatory evacuation orders, and that includes Wilson Lakes and the Forest Glen subdivisions. Now the areas in yellow are under pre-evacuation notices. They include the Las Bresas and La Montana Mesa, as well as Valley High and Florissant Heights areas. Emergency officials provided an update on the 403 fire this morning, about two and a half hours ago. Our Caroline Peters is in Park County. Uh, she was there, she's been all seen, on scene, excuse me, all morning long. And uh, what are you seeing right now, Caroline? Yes, I yes, take a look here. Grass. That is what we're told is primarily the type of fire. This is a grass fire, but take a look. You see the smoke off in the distance. There's a lot of wind right now and wind can always be a concern. It can actually change the fire's behavior, especially when things are this dry with gusts getting up to 50 miles per hour. There is uncertainty on what the behavior of the fire will be and if it'll continue to grow. Like you said, 1100 acres, no containment so far, but right now the US Forest Service has full command over this. Today they've gotten more resources on deck as well as aviation forces, but you can hear the wind now. They cannot fly unless the wind is calm, but in the midst of all this, neighbors have come together showing support for one another during this time of uncertainty. They are very supportive because I think they've all gone through it at some point in their lives. So having told them this is our first time, they've been very supportive, very loving and caring. County Road 403 and County Road 98 east of County Road 61 are closed as of now. And keep in mind, though, these are veteran firefighters working to put this out. They say they have a lot of experience and a strong relationship, and that is key in all of this. Now, as for the cause of the fire right now, that is under investigation. It is still unknown. Of course, we'll keep you posted as we learn more. Reporting in Park County, Caroline Peters, News 5. All right, thank you, Caroline. The first responders in both Teller and Park counties asking for donations as they battle the 403 fire officials say they need more eye drops, cough drops, water, and sport drinks. People in Teller County can drop off donations at the Sheriff's Office in Divide. Park County donations can be dropped off at the Lake George Fire. Now, with